Maybe, you yeah. know. You would have just let it all crash and burn, all the AIG, everything just topple? Yep, yep. I would have let, you know, and, and people say, how could we have done that? Because it would have been worse. Yeah, it would have been worse at that point. Initially. But in the long run, the bailing them out is going to hurt more than letting them fail. We always have to think about the, the complete long-term consequences of our action. The politicians just focus on what's immediate. Right? They, don't, they don't connect all the dots and see the real cost of what they're doing. And, and you know what, though? It wouldn't have even been as bad as they think. It wouldn't have been, you know, they were, you know, it would have been bad, but it wouldn't have been the end of the world. And it would have been a lot better than what we're going to get now. People That's would have been more cautious if it failed in the future. They would have yeah, seen well, the, the people who would have been pretty pissed off would have been a lot of people that worked on Wall Street. Because a lot of those high-paid people would have lost a lot of their jobs. And a lot of the people who loaned money to them would have lost a lot of their money. But the average American would have been a lot better off. And even if that average American lost his job because one of his co companies that he worked for failed, well, he'd have a much better time, easier time getting another job. Could I say yeah. one thing? And all the um, candidates running, you're, you're the only one who said you want to shrink government. All of the other ones said, I think we could do this, we could legislate this, we could do this. You're the only one who wanted to shrink government. Now, well, they're afraid that's, to say that's that. That's what the you people want. They want to shrink it, but they're afraid to say it. Because then they're afraid that, that Dodd is going to make an issue of yeah. what they're going to cut. Yeah. I don't care if he makes an issue of what I want to cut. Because you know what? We have to cut stuff. And we, and we need people to mm -hmm. stop lying about that. And saying that we can keep these promises, which we can't. And so there's going to have to be cuts. And if we pretend that no one's going to get their benefits cut, then everyone's going to get their benefits cut because there will be no benefits because there will be no money. Exactly. Or the money will have no value. So. I take it you would never have gone into Afghanistan in the first place or Iraq? Well, I, don't, I, might, have gone, I, might, libertarian I might have gone into Afghanistan to get bin Laden, but I wouldn't have been there to occupy the country. You know, I might have gone into Iraq, or if I thought there were weapons of mass destruction there, we had intelligence and we knew where they were, I might have gone in to take them out, just like we think Iran might have be building nuclear weapons. Well, if we really believe that and we really think that and we tell the Iranians, this is where we think those weapons are, you need to let our inspectors in there. They don't let us in and they just blow the place up. But we don't, have to, we don't have to send all these ground troops in there. We don't have to occupy these countries. You know, we can defend our interests and defend Americans you know, without pissing everybody off or without, you know, having our troops in you know, 160 countries around the world. I mean, that's the one thing about Ron Paul. I love everything with his philosophy, but his foreign policy, I kind of get queasy about him. I just think that we need to walk softly and carry the big... Exactly. Threat. Teddy Roosevelt, that's what, I, what I'm saying. Look, we've got to protect our interests, but the problem is we're so vulnerable right now because we can't do anything without the Chinese lending us the money. Without the Chi We don't even have our sovereignty anymore because we're in debt. We're beholden to everybody else. That's, you know, and that is a very vulnerable position to be in. And the Soviet Union, you know, they had a big military, but they collapsed because of the economy. They bankrupted themselves. We've done the same thing. What about the wand peg? What would you do about that? Ch China needs to end it. And that's going to be tough medicine for us. But the sooner they do that, the better. Because the peg is what's, you know, it's what's enabling us. The Chinese, and you know, we, we act like if they float the wand, that's going to be good for us. Oh, no, it's going to be <laughs> horrible for us. It's going to be great for the Chinese. I don't know why they're taking so long to do it. But they are subsidizing our economy to, on, a, on a massive scale. And the sooner they withdraw that subsidy, the better, because we need economic reality. I don't want the Chinese government to keep buying our treasuries, because that means me as a taxpayer, I've got to pay that money back with interest. I don't want to pay it back. And the government is using the money to destroy the economy. Why do I want that to continue? The sooner the Chinese and the Japanese cut us off, the sooner the real reform can start to take place. Now, of course, if our politicians resist that, if the politicians say, well, the Chinese won't buy our bonds, Ben Bernanke will do it, well, then we're finished. Yeah. Our interest rates will go up to 10, 15, 20 percent. Well, so that'll be the, the uh, coup d'etat that'll be it when the people wake up. The creditors oh, yeah. will, will be getting the interest. And the well, we have to default. We can't afford 20. We have to default. I mean, the government has to default. We can't. The national debt is 13 trillion. Uh, well, 20, per, 20 percent of 13 trillion is 2.6 trillion. Right. I mean, that, we, we, we don't even collect that much in taxes. We can't pay the interest. Yeah, it's actually 100 trillion with the uh, bond. But, but yeah, but those are the un we don't have to pay interest on those. But the actual bonded yeah. debt that's funded, we have to pay interest. Yeah, it'll be up and to 20 billion. The national debt is financed with short-term paper. It's like it's like an adjustable rate mortgage. 
So, uh, you know, just like, you know, the individuals couldn't afford the resets, neither can the U.S. government. When interest rates go up, we either print or default. Those are our only options. Either way, it's, it's terrible. I'd rather default. I think that's more honest. Yeah, it is. Peter, what's yeah. your phone number? For what? Uh, if I want to give you a call. Well, just, uh, do you have the campaign number? Or? Yeah, it's, it, we're listing on the website tomorrow. Oh, you are okay. We're opening our new um, awesome. headquarters. Um, December 1st. It is going to be in um, Milford. Oh, Milford, great. Yeah. And the Post Road, is it? It is not Post Road. It's, um... Big drive. It's going to be like one of those wheelers. Mr. Shipp, before we get a chance to get you elected, is there anything we can do now to help stop this health care bill from going through? I mean, people say, call your congressman, call your senator. I call him until I'm blue in the face, and everything just keeps on. Well, unfortunately, anyway. Chris Dodd is going to vote for it no matter what, because he thinks, see, the beauty of this plan is that the damage doesn't start until 2014. Yeah. Yeah. So he can claim we did this great but we, thing. But we get taxed yeah, for five we, years before <laughs> it even starts. We've got to pay for it for five years before it even kicks in. Oh, but, and the money we're paying isn't even going to be spent on it. It's just going to yeah. be spent on whatever other, you know, stuff they're doing. Mm. But... Is there yeah. anything we can do to stop it? Is there anything? Well, I, fortunately, well, if, I, your if, if I get elected, year, maybe I can, maybe I can work. Saturday between now and Well, the good news is there's, there's still time to repeal it before it takes effect. Yeah, that's a good point. But if they actually pass it, a lot of health insurance companies might just, they're, they're probably going to have to jack up their insurance rates so much because they're going to you know what, we got another four years to make money, then we're out of business.